So, yeah, that was the character's life literally flashing before his eyes in the seconds before he died. And guess what? There may now be clinical scientific proof that that really happens. More than a dozen neuroscientists from around the world have published their findings from a very special brain scan that was done on an 87-year-old man. And why is that important? Well, the man had fallen and hit his head. And then later he developed seizures. But as he was undergoing his brain scan, he suddenly went into cardiac arrest and he died right there as they were scanning his brain. And something very weird happened. When his heart stopped, his brain waves did not. In fact, the brain waves associated with memory, meditation, and dreaming increased. And they increased for up to 15 seconds after, and I'll use the air quotes here, death. So I am thrilled to welcome one of the scientists who brought this discovery to the world, Dr. Ajmal Zamar. Dr. Zamar is a neurosurgeon at the University of Louisville, and pardon the pun, sir, you just blew my mind with this study. Does your life really flash before your eyes as you're about to die, or is that kind of just too romanticized? Uh, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. I think that we uh, would love to have this view that this is what happens. We are doing our best to answer in a scientific way. Unfortunately, we can't ask the person who dies whether they have had a replay or not. All we have is data that we record from the brain of somebody who dies and then try to correlate it. So the, there are some aspects that point towards the fact that the memories of our life that are memorable events are flashing just in the span of seconds before we pass away. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because our next block is actually going to have somebody who did die and uh, did have that moment where life flashed before her eyes, but she came back to tell the story. So thank you for that tease. I, I was a little surprised that this hasn't happened before, that someone maybe on palliative care who was close to dying maybe hadn't been in a brain scan before so that we could see this. But this seemed to be one of the first, if not the first time that this has happened, that a dying person was measured every single brain wave. That is true, yes. Um, we were one of the first studies to show this. I think the nature of why it hasn't happened before is simply because the time to capture this event is so rare. You can't predict death. You can't predict when somebody dies to attach the um, necessary equipment to their brain to capture the moments from alive to death. Even in the patients who you know they have a terminal disease, they may pass away. We can't know, is it gonna be the next minutes, in the next hours, in the next weeks? So this indeed is an extremely rare data set that gives us insights into the final moments of a dying human brain. So Dr. Zamar, now that you know what you know, um, as a physician, did this change how you um, interact with uh, families of um, those who have passed? I mean, do, does it change when we declare someone dead because we declare them dead when their heart stops? But that data showed something different. That is a very interesting question. And uh, there are two components to it. When do we declare someone dead? So in the traditional way, Hollywood, you just had a, a movie of Tom Cruise. When we see these movies, we kind of see this flickering of the heart. And when that curve goes flat, we die. That is a notion that we grew up with. Our study shows that the brain goes on for about 30 seconds with this very specific uh, wave patterns that we do observe in uh, patients who express similar feelings as to those uh, that near-death survivors ex express, namely memory recall, life flashing in front of our eyes, uh, light going off on the eyes, so these, these waves that, that need that survivors express are recorded in the brain of this case that we see, and they persist for about 30 seconds after the heart stops working. So the question is, when do we die? I've had a colleague from Italy who sent me his data set of monkeys where the brain kept going for two hours after the heart stopped. Uh, 30 seconds may not be as big of a, of a span, but if truly it's longer than that, this raises other questions. The bigger question to me 
you know, we can probably start a study next and, and determine and compare uh, the EEG that gives us brain signals to the EKG that gives us heart signals. The bigger question to me that I don't know if we will ever be able to answer is when um, does the brain stop the substrate to consciously perceive? Um, I might give you an example to explain better what I mean by this. If we go to the other side of life, when some when a baby is born, the first six months in, of the neonate, although every n- neuronal substrate is present to for pain perception, uh, the nerves fire, the waves, the patterns, everything is there. The, the neonate is not able to perceive pain until six months. So even if we were to record mm. neuronal activity of pain circuits, the neonate cannot perceive pain because the substrate of pain is not present before six months. If we go That's tricky to the stuff. Brain, <laughs> I, I'm trying to process it all, but at the same time, all I keep thinking about is that th- this man's brain activity kept going after his heart stopped, and, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to think about people now after they uh, die. I think you've given us a lot to think about, uh, Dr. Zamar. Thank you very much for being on, and I'd love to have you back on this topic. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Good to have you. So wouldn't it be you know, amazing if we could actually ask someone uh, what those final seconds were like as you're dying? Um, because if your life really does flash before your eyes, it would be really nice to know that that's gonna happen. And guess what? Stephanie Arnold knows exactly what happens when we die because she died and she lived to tell about it. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.